Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. We are going to be doing some more using up that designer paper stash tonight. I got a really fun, fun fold for you that my friend Leanne showed me how to do last week. And then we're going to make an envelope. Hello, Norma. Okay, so I'm going to just get my computer to, my to the shh, to the point where I can see comments and make sure everything is going okay. Okay, so I also wanted to share that I got a couple of cards in the mail lately, and I thought I'd share them with you because these are my peeps in my VIP group. So the first one, this one, comes from Valerie, our dear Valerie Weld, who's part of my VIP group. Isn't that amazing? Now this is that one of the bundles that I don't have. Hey, Carmen. Okay, so I don't remember. It's called Window something or other. It's in the, the new mini catalog. Let me find out. Welcoming window bundle. So it's on page 58 of the, the mini catalog. And it's got these cool dies and a stamp set. This is one that I kind of shuffled my way past and thought, well, that's nice, but like what? But look at this amazing card that Valerie made and sent to me. Isn't that amazing? So it has, this is a window box die, and then there's pot dies, and to go with the pot stamps, and then there's flower dies to go with the flowers, and then the coloring parts for the flowers. I didn't even realize she did this amazing card and doesn't even use the window part. Hi, Gloria. Yeah, awesome, awesome card, Valerie. Thank you. And then the other one I got today, where did I put it? Let me get the stamp set first. It's called Treasures of Life, page 71. Now, I've used it this one a couple of times because it's all about grandchildren and tugging your heartstrings. So I received this one from Carol. Carol Smith. She's also part of my VIP group of peeps. Isn't that fun? She made a, a window. There's a window card. So you op it says the joy of grandchildren is measured by the heart and then you open it up and the love only grows. Look at that. Is that not, you know, this, this card brings tears to my eyes because we have a, a granddaughter who's over seven months old and we've only seen her once in person. We, I talk to her almost every day on um, video chat, but that's not the same. I have not been able to do that with Miss Maggie since... I think it was August they were down here and she was just over two uh, over a month old no two months I guess when she, they were here yeah and all I want to do is go up there and do this but by the time I see her she's going to be in kindergarten and she's going to be way too old for me to do that with but I'm going to do it anyways because it's a grandma's privilege so that's treasures of life stamp set I love it Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much for sending me cards. I really appreciate them. Okay. Stamping. Yes, we can. So, here's my envelope. And it was too smart, short, so I had to add a two-inch piece on there. And I thought, is this really going to work? But look at how amazing that looks. Because when you make these envelopes, you make them this way. So if you put a strip on, you're going to end up with a corner thing like that, that I think is fabulous. 
So I'll show you how to do that because I can. So here's the card. It has no cardstock base. The base is the designer paper. And you get to see just a little peeky boo image of the designer paper right here on this side. And I used the kangaroo dies to, for the heart. And the kangaroo step set for those hearts. Yep, Valentine's card. Isn't that lovely? So we're going to make this one tonight. So is how many of how many of you are going to make it along with me? Oh, I got so many peeps. That's lovely. Okay, so I'm using Forever Flourishing dies for this part. I'm just going to run them because I know I told you. And then I'm going to use the kangaroo dies. So these are Forever Forever Flourishing. That came out of the kangaroo dies. The Stitch So Sweetly dies are these two. I use this die set a lot, but I use these a lot. I haven't used these ones, but Leanne showed me how awesome they layer together. Oh, good, Norma. Good. I know Valerie's probably watching Coronation Street at the same time. <laughs> Okay, so the sentiment comes from Punch Party, and that's um, a celebration hostess set when the order gets to 350. It's a free set. And I'm using Kangaroo and Company because I love these hearts. So there we are. Okay. So I have to move some stuff because I have to bring in my... Yeah, I knew you were. <laughs> oh, Valerie, you're so funny. Okay, so I have a piece of designer paper that is 12 by 5 and a half. And then I have a piece. So when you cut that, when you cut that, you get this piece left over. So this is 6 and a half by 12. But I only need eight, so I cut six and a half by eight. But then the piece that you cut off from here is not long enough to add on to this side. So I had to find another coordinating strip that this one is uh, two and three quarters by eight. And it doesn't matter how big it is because you just overlap it enough to make it the eight inches that you need. And then I have a piece of Knight of Navy for the inside, and that is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And a piece of white for the inside, that's three and five eighths by five and one eighth. Oh dear, did I not get white out for the sentiment? Oh well. A piece of um, True Love or whatever that is, foil in the Rococo Rose part and some vellum. So I have to go and get some white for the sentiment because apparently I forgot to do that. My hands are very cold tonight. It is freezing here. And I had, I was doing really good. I went out today and had to get some stuff. I had to go to the post office. And it's funny because today is was National Thank a Postal Worker Day. So I saved my stuff from yesterday and went up today so I could thank my postal workers. And I mailed off. A whole bunch of team stuff today and I was doing really good I was nice and warm when I came home but then our local Bilo store um, I asked them to get in some sugar-free French vanilla international coffee for me and some sugar-free salt-free peanut butter that my grandchildren and I like to have and they haven't had it for a while so they phoned today today to say it was in so I had to go out again and that's when I got so cold Okay, so now we're going to we're going to score this 12 inch piece of paper at three and three quarters. Maybe it goes this way. Hang on. There we are. Four and an eighth by eight and a and eight and a quarter. 
so using the big side of my stylus four and an eighth <coughs> excuse me four and an eighth and eight and a quarter and I just did it a few times because I'm not pushing heavy because I don't want to rip my oops sorry my designer paper all right put that away out of the way now we have to decide there's something on the back here I gotta get rid of that which paper you want to have showing and which paper you want to not have showing so I'm just going to fold it and just hold it I'm not burnishing the folds yet so that's one way and then we can or we can have it this way and nope I like it this way hello blondie there we are huh upside down oh well it would have looked better this way it's okay I'm letting it go because I remember Leanne saying to me or to us when she was doing her video if you've got directional designer paper make sure that you do it the right way well I didn't realize that this is really is directional huh who knew oh well it is what it is just enjoy so I'm burnishing my folds now because I figured out which way I want to go the scoring is hang on hang on I want to get it right the scoring is four and one eighth and eight and a quarter let me get a piece of paper and I'll write it down. Maybe if my fingers will work. 12 by five and a half. Score at four and one eighth and eight and a quarter. There we go just tuck it underneath my sign here maybe it'll stay where it's supposed to be then you'll be able to see it while I do what I'm doing okay so there's our card let's put this here so you can see it now that I've taken the scoreboard away so I'm going to put that off to the side because I want to this is the um, Knight of Navy that's going to go inside, but I'm going to cut this out first, like that. Pull my machine a little bit closer, and I'll just die cut that. Flowers showing. Yes, Valerie, I agree with you, because the other way did not look good. Okay, so I have that, and I have this. Now I've just got to go and get a piece of white. Hang on. I don't have to go far. Let's see if that one's going to be big enough. Yep, just. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out. I just need to move that just a bit. There we go. I'm going to cut this out of the white like that now wait a minute yep don't want to do it wrong ah! oops avalanche I hate when that happens okay so now we have that it goes with that and this goes with this I had to pick up my plate that I dropped because now let's get these out of the way because you know how things stick to the back of my magnetic plate we have we're going to cut these two out 
So this, it's cut out of that, and then I'm going to cut three of these. Let's move that a little bit, there we are. And then I'm going to cut one of these out of vellum. Hi, Marianne. Okay, let's run that through. So I was playing with a new product today. The best part about being a demonstrator is getting stuff ahead of everybody else. So last month we had access to the Hey Chick bundle. And this month we have access to a set called Butterfly Brilliance. So that's what I was... Oh, I just ripped it. Uh-oh. Come on. What is going on? Hey, don't rip. Let's just cut you. There we are. Oh, well. We'll just use that and put a glue dot on it. So I was playing with the butterflies today, but I haven't got it finished yet. I don't know why this didn't cut. It's just weird. Okay, so that's that one cut. And there's that one. What was it? What was what? That was what, Val? I have to cut two more hearts, so. Okay, uh. that was one. And here's two. And one more. My die keeps moving. Oh, the new set. Oh. Butterfly something or other. I'll try and remember at the end to show you. Okay, so that's done. I'll take this out of here. There we are. Okay. Die cutting done. I have a new toy too. I bought a um, label printer. A Dymo label writer. I am having so much fun with that labeler. I'm putting labels on everything. I used to handwrite all my envelopes. Not anymore. I'm using my new label maker. Okay. So there's our pieces. Get our card back. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment in Night of Navy. So today's Thursday. It's almost time for the weekend. And we're supposed to get snow. That doesn't help it happen a lot. And it's supposed to be really cold. So the snow might even stay a day or two. There we are. Stamp that. And now I'm going to get my dirty paper. Because when I stamp the hearts on here... When I stamp these hearts, I want to stamp them off first because the Rococo Rose is really dark. 
Oh, well, I have, I have, I have a label maker that makes this kind of labels, but this one will make like up to this size label. It's a fun thing. Okay. So I want, look, this is that piece we did when we put um, shimmer paint on our cardstock and made, made uh, pearlescent paper. So one there. And one down there. Okay, there's the front. Oops, I need this. I need this because it will stamp the inside. And there's no, we don't have to stamp the envelope because the envelope is going to be out of designer paper. And then I'll put one of my new labels on it. Okay. There we go. Stamp and done. And look, I got mung on it. So apparently I'm turning it over, wiping off my block because I got ink on my block. And we'll just do that again. Somebody said today they were doing a, a live video. And she was having issues with her project. <laughs> she said it just shows them that I'm human. Yep, we are. There we go. There's a little bit of mung on there, but... Oh, Carol, how cold is it where you are? Were you, were you here when I showed your gorgeous card? Were you here when I showed this card that brought tears to my eyes? Because I miss our little baby so much. Okay. The pieces. Let's put this uh, inside and get it over with. I was having issues with one of these stamping seals the other day. I'm hoping it's going to behave itself. It was like it was cold and kept going home. Ah, I showed your card and showed how pretty it is. And I was saying that I miss our granddaughter. By the time I by the time we get to see her, she's going to be too big to do that with. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to put this inside while I'm at it. And then it's there and it's done. The only issue with doing your cards like this is you, you would have to put a label on the back of them to get your name on. Because... Oh, come on. Because you have pattern paper back here. Now, this one's not too bad. I could stamp my name back there. But the back side of this one, it's too dark to put my name on there. So I'm going to have to put a, a label. I'm going to have to put my new labels there. All right, there's the card. Minus 23. Oof. Ooh, yuck. It was very cold in... It was very cold in, in northern BC and Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. They're, they're having a deep freeze, so I feel quite lucky that we are not. We are having a deep freeze, but not like they're having. Um, our grand... Our grandchildren, our northern grandchildren, live in the middle of our province. And it's very, very cold. And our grandson, who's in grade one, said they had an inside day at school today and the buses didn't run. So when he got there, out of 20 children, there was only seven in his class. Oh, twin granddaughters. That's cool. I wanted twins. We had twins ourselves. Um, they came out of nowhere. Nobody in our family 
has ever, well, they've had fraternal twins, but not identical twins. So when ours came along, it was kind of, it was kind of out of the blue. So I was hoping that at least one of our children were going to have twins, but that didn't work out. And they're thankful, but, you know, grandma's kind of was hoping we'd have twins. But that's okay. Okay, so this is that one that broke. So I've just put glue dots on there and I'm going to add them. I'm going to add it to my card. It went down where I didn't want it. Because I'm going to cover that up anyways. So as long as it's there, that's all that matters. Okay. Yeah, our twins are going to be 41 this year. Whew, man, they're old. How did they ever get to be that old? Especially when I'm only 23. Now, I, I cut this stem off because I don't want it showing and I don't really need it. So I'm not, I haven't pushed down on that yet. Just so I make sure that I, it looks like what I want it to look like. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Now, I need dimensionals. Where are my big ones? I'll just put some dimensionals on here. And a couple of little ones in the middle. Yeah, I don't have a clue when we're going to see our northern grandchildren. Man. Not going to be soon. We're still under lock, lockdown until the, at least the end of February. Supposedly they skip a generation, mine are identical, and wear special bracelets up on their ankles so people and the doctors can tell them apart. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I understand that. Our children had uh, heart murmurs, and we had them to the... Children's Hospital in Vancouver for testing. And the heart specialist said there's no use putting both of them through the trauma of this test. They, I don't know what kind of test. It was an ultrasound or something. He said, we'll just, we'll just do one of them because their murmurs were exactly the same. So I put glue on that one because I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to put dimensionals on those two so that I pop them up. Well, so skip a generation. <clears throat> Maybe there's hope for me being a great grandma to twins. That would be okay. I want one there. And just taking the backing off. I haven't pushed that down yet. <laughs> yep, only 23. Thanks, Heather. Come on. Yep, I like that. I like that. There's the front of the card. Not bad. And there's the inside of the card. Look at that. How quick that was. No time at all. Okay, so let's do the envelope. I'm going to put some stuff away, though, because don't need that. And don't need that. Put that over there. Make sure my inks are closed. Okay, so to do the envelope. First of all, you need to decide if you're going to overlap this way or if you're going to overlap that way. So the way I decided that was I put it here. So I need eight inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's got to go to six. So we have an envelope that's going to look like that or an envelope that's going to look like that 
I think we'll put this one over top of that one. Okay. I'll put a strip of adhesive on the edge of that and a strip of adhesive um it's got to go that way. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to figure this out cuz it was just by sheer fluke when I made that one last the uh, last night that it worked out. Okay, so this goes back on here cuz I it has to be 8 inches. So this hold that there at 8 inches or at 14 like that and that that doesn't doesn't matter how big these pieces are you just piece them together to make oh, come on sit stay there you piece it together to make eight inches like uh oh sorry norma your your notes in the way there Okay, there we go. So now we have an eight by eight piece of designer paper. I'm looking for my envelope maker. So I'm gonna move the cards out of the way and we'll make the envelope now. Okay, so if I make it this way, it's going to be there. And then I'm gonna turn this this way and it's going to be there. And then I'm gonna turn this this way Trying to figure it out. Hang on. Oh well, we'll just go for it. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, oh well, we'll get some. We'll have a, an envelope that looks different. Right? Doesn't really matter, does it? Punch and score. And punch and score. And punch and score. Now, I haven't rounded the corner yet because I want to fold this and see what it looks like. Aha! It's going to be on the other corner this time. It's always a happy accident. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. So, we can have an envelope that looks like that, or we can have an envelope that looks like that. I'm thinking this. Okay, so this is going to be the top. And I'm just going to round that corner, and then we'll get rid of that. Okay, now put your adhesive on. Oh, shoot, I forgot to cut it. Hang on, hang on. I think I could do this and mark it and I forgot to cut the extra flap off. So right about there. We'll just fake it. Okay. So there we go. And fold this up. Well, that's not bad. It almost was the way it's supposed to be. Give it a good burnish with my... So I had a phone call today. Somebody wanted to know if I wanted to work for the election that is supposed to be called in the next year or so. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm not wanting to work. I have work. So in Port Alberni, in Alberni Claycott, if anybody knows of anybody who wants to work for the election, 
let me know. I'll tell you where to go. No, I won't. No, that came out wrong. I won't tell you where to go. I'll tell you where to find the information. Okay, there's our envelope. There's our card. And then there's this envelope. And there's this card. Isn't that fun? Now, this is one of my, this is the size of, of one of my labels. So, I'm not going to put it on here because I'm going to use one that I print out. But look, how perfect is that? Absolutely perfect. And I have bigger ones too if I want to make a bigger label. What do you think? Not bad for 25 minute car a day. Now, I'll get that butterfly brilliance and show you. And I want to show you the card that I'm working on because I want it to be a surprise. Okay, let's put those aside. So, Butterfly Brilliance. Here's the stamp. This is one stamp. One complete stamp. All unto its own. Isn't that pretty? And look at the detail that they've got on. This is one of the distinctive ones. So, we'll stamp this. And then there's a set of dies to get the other one out here. Aha! Thanks, Carmen. I have two more. So the next two Thursdays, we'll do this again with different folds. So this is one of the dies, and it cuts, well, we'll do it this way, because that way is not printed at 100%. So this cuts the, the, uh, the whole stamp out all at once. So you can stamp and die cut all of those. Now, they all die cut individually. They don't die cut this big. It just means that you can stamp once and have two, four, six butterflies. Oh, Shannon, it's so fun! And then you also get all these. These are all individual. And then there's these pieces. I don't know what these are, but they're cool. I think I don't think they're cutting dies. I think they're um embo or just embossing dies. But I can show you a couple of butterflies that I cut out. Look, look at the intricateness of that butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? And then and then there's the paper. Then there's the paper. So there's 48 sheets. There's four different ones. And you get, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get six of each sheet. Now this one is short because I've already used a piece of it. But there's rainbow butterflies on one side and then that on the other side here there you go nope fits here so there you go there's that side and there's that side and then these big butterflies and the cool thing about this is look at this It cuts them out. One fell swoop, and you have six already die-cut butterflies. And then you're probably thinking, but then you're left with all these pieces on the end. Ha, 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 ha. Do you remember? Have I done it? Or was, no, I guess that's in my upcoming True Love Designer Paper class. I took the the edges of the true love and fussy cut around them 
in a strip and put that along the side of the card. So you could use that on your envelope, along the side of an envelope, and like one or two of these, and the other ones in the card, or you could do this down the left, the right hand side of your card, and you've used an entire piece of designer paper. Is that not cool? Okay. So that's the great thing about those. Then there's this piece. Look at those butterflies. I love that background. It looks like they're in the clouds. And then there's, um, this is Bermuda Bay. Yeah. So it has in it black Bermuda Bay, blushing bride, calypso coral, just jade, magenta madness, mango melody, mint macaron, misty moonlight, Poppy Parade, So Saffron, and Whisper White. And then there's this one with these butterflies on the back. <coughs> and, and, where did I put it? The paper, the big paper. Hang on, let me find it. Ah, there it is. So, in the collection, you, it also includes this specialty paper. It's called Natural Touch Specialty Paper. Now, this is paper, but it's got, it's got embossing on it. Can you see the embossing on there? So, when you touch it, it's got a really light embossed finish on it. It's uh, that on one side. Now this side, it you can feel the embossing, but it's not as apparent as this side is. Oh my gosh, ladies, I tell you. Um, <coughs> so I'll be posting about this, but just let me go into my computer so I can tell you because I think I remember this correctly, but I want it's new. So I just want to make sure <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Available the 2nd of March till the 3rd of May. <coughs> you can order the stamp set and the dies at the usual 10% off for your bundle. And then the designer paper, the 6x6 designer paper. So the bundle is... Seventy-four fifty. The designer paper is fifteen seventy-five. The naturals, natural birch color paper called Natural Touch is six seventy-five for two twelve by twelve sheet. And then you can also it says what do you, do you do if you want all the butterflies? The solution is Butterfly Brilliance Collection. You'll get beautifully detailed images and an unforgettable color scheme. Put everything together and your projects will be beautiful enough to take flight. Only available while supplies last. So you get all of, you can order all of this in one number. But the designer paper and the, the uh, natural touch is only available while supplies last. So these these two things are not going to be in the catalog. The only way to get this designer paper is to order it starting the 3rd of March until the 2nd of March until the 3rd of May. So once the new annual catalog comes out, the stamp set and the dies will be in there, but the two papers will not be in there. Yeah. Oh, I love it too. I love it too. Okay, so let's let's stamp those butterflies. What color should I stamp the butterflies in? And while you decide that, we'll die cut out this paper. You can let me know what color I should stamp the butterflies. I'll stamp them on white and we'll die cut them out. And right while you're making up your minds, let me just die cut out the butterflies. 
so we can see what they look like. And I'm just taking my time to line the dies up properly here so I get a good cut. There we go. Okay, should I do them in pink or blue or purple? Here you go, taking the die off, taking the extra paper off. Oh, look at those butterflies. Oh my God. Oh, just look at those. And how easy was that? And you get six sheets. So you could put those on Let's see. Let's see what paper we should put them on. Where's that other one? Oh, I cut it. <laughs> I was looking for that background, but I cut it. And you could put like three butterflies on there and a sentiment and your card is done black then you get to color them whatever you want yep could do that could do that okay I need to go get my stamparatus oh <laughs> I didn't empty it from when my club was over doing their stamping for our our club cards that we did yesterday. We'll just take that off of there. And put this on here. Like that. And I'm going to put my ink pads under here to support it while I ink it up in black. And then I'm going to need some cardstock to, to stamp on. That would help. Oh, I'll do it this way. There, just so I make sure I get it on there. Hold that in place. Oh, I guess it doesn't have to be down. The, I can just put it right up. There we go. Oh, I can put that up there out of the way. And ink it up with some memento black. And by using the stamparatus and holding the paper in place, if I don't get it stamped properly, I can redo it. And I like the control you get um, when you use a big stamp like this. I like the control you get using your stamparatus. It just works a little better. Okay, you ready? Here we go. It's a big stamp, so I'm going to stand up and do it. There we are. Oh, let's see. Lift it slowly. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Now, I'm just going to do a couple of them really dark. A couple of the corner ones. These two. Ooh, it does make it darker. Neat. Okay. Let's see. What was one of those colors in there? Magenta Madness. Should we have a Magenta Madness one? Uh, 
Everybody needs a Magenta Madness butterfly. Oh, leaves are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'll be posting the information on this. I just, I don't, I don't know when it'll come soon. Because you can't get them for a couple of weeks anyways. So put some dark in there. And blend it all in. Oh, it's a bright butterfly. That's awesome. Definitely can't say this is a moth. And some more dark. Put some more around here because it got blended in quite a bit. There we go. There's our magenta madness one. Okay, now. How about a daffodil delight one with a little bit of, of uh, what is this? Cinnamon cider. Oof. These are so pretty. Almost time for butterflies to come out again. Yay, spring! That stamp set is amazing, Carmen. You're right. So I know spring is coming because we have daffodils, tulips, and hyacinths out in my garden. And our lovely deer have been have feasting on my daffodils. We had to go put the fence up over them. I think it's the earliest we've had to put our fence out yet, and we've been here almost 15 years now. Or maybe it's almost 16 years. I can't remember. 15. It'll be 15 years in May. Little bums. Somebody told me when I planted daffodils, oh, put daffodils in. The deer don't like daffodils. Yeah, well, somebody forgot to tell the deer that they're not supposed to like daffodils. They mowed a boat three feet of daffodil bulbs down to the bot, right down to ground level. So I'm hoping that they come back, but I don't know whether they will or not. So this is a daffodil one. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. And look how easy they are to color. Like, I don't have, if you want to get exciting and, or excited and do a lot of adding different colors in, you could, you could spend a lot of time doing butterflies. Add a little bit of cinnamon cider there just for a little bit of interest. And I tell you, put Irish Spring down. I know, I know, but I can't, oh, I keep forgetting. And I don't know whether I want to walk down my driveway with Irish Spring smelling. 
so there I am coloring with blends and my nose plugs up again. My nose just does not like stamped blends. It's okay. I've got to get used to it because I'm not going to stop coloring. I'll have to make a note and get some Irish Spring. But I, for the for the back of our house, they can't get to them now because I put my fence up. Look at that. So let's cut that out. Let's see what it looks like cut out. Where's my pen? Irish spring soap. There. Maybe I'll remember. Yes, they, they they do not like marigolds. But then a lot of things don't like marigolds. They're good for uh, getting rid of bugs and stuff. Okay, so we'll just run this through the machine when I get it all lined up here. There we go. There we are. So now you're going to find out that some of them don't match exactly because in order to get the detail that they do on these stamps, stamping up has to use rubber. And rubber shrinks quite a bit when it's um, when it cures. I was going to say dries, but it's not dry. But look at that! It they turned out perfectly. I'm trying to find something dark to put it on so that you can see them. Look, look at those. It die cut absolutely perfectly. Look at how perfect that thing around. So I'll take back whatever I said about them shrinking during, because that is amazing. Okay. I like it. I only got it yesterday. So you take a card base and you put a piece of designer paper on it. Then you add a couple of butterflies. Maybe one of the butterflies you cut out of your paper. Pop that one up. Put a sentiment down here. Where's my, where are those dies we just used? Come on. Put a sentiment down there. There you go. There's your card. Done. Of course, this is six inches, so you'll have to bring it down a bit to make it five and a half. But you put it on the full, like a full front. Make the whole card. I don't want to show you the other side of this because this is the card. Okay, so there, you put that on the card front, put this, pop that one up, put your sentiment on there, and this stops right here. There you go. There's your card. Is that not fun? And then, now, you know what we should do? Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Oh, I just want to try something. I've got lots of this. I've got lots of this paper. Let's see if we can make, I'm going to cut two two inch strips. Oh shoot, that should have been more. Darn. OK, 
Okay, I got lots of it. We'll just get it. Out. Oh, James. Darling James, I'm on. Sorry, dude. I'm... going to see if we can piece together I wanted to try this to see if you can piece together um, six by six designer paper to be an envelope so it means that you have to come on don't do that thank you which one has the glue on it now. So I'm going to put this on here like that. Oops, sugar shack. <sighs> Stay. This one here, when you try to do something fast, that's when you end up with issues. There's that. Now, put some up here. And I know it's not long enough, but that's okay, because we're going to put another piece in there. I just want to see if we if this will work to have a to have an eight by eight envelope. Now, ruler, I need a piece that's two and a half by two and a half. Let's see if I've got a piece in here that we can piece onto there. I do. I do, I do. This should go underneath here, though. Lift that up, slide this in here, make sure it matches there and it matches on the side, just like that. I'll take this, so you could make a really cool um envelope by putting different colors together too. You have to make sure you used really good adhesive for this though or you would end up um, you'd end up with your envelope falling apart. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good thing. This is cool. Oh, ladies, look at this envelope. Somebody tried to message me, go away. Get out a hydrangea to go. Oh, a hydrangea. Oh, yes, a hydrangea. But look at that envelope. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Of course, I would take time to make sure that that didn't happen. But look at that. Or you could have it this way. Yep. So you can make envelopes out of piece together paper. Just take a whole bunch of strips, lay them all out in an 8 by 8 pattern. And there we go. Look at that. That's so exciting. 
All right, so you've seen a sneak peek of the butterflies. We've made a card using almost an entire sheet of designer paper. And now that I know that you can do all those piecing things, we could use the rest of the designer paper. Look at that. I'm so excited. So, thanks so much for joining me tonight. It's been fun crafting with you in my craft room again. And I will be back tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, for Friday late night stamping. And we'll create something with something. I don't quite know. I think, I think, I don't know what we're going to start with. But if you have any requests, other than the Butterfly Brilliance, I'm not going to do that. But if you've got another stamp set or bundle or suite that you want us to create with tomorrow night, let me know. I'll be live at 8 o'clock and tomorrow night is Zoom night. So I'll post the Zoom link. Thanks so much for joining me, ladies. We'll see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and Smiles. Oh, Yvonne, I'm going to message you. Stamp and Smiles and bye for now.